Good morning, guys. AJ here with Hot Fish Tangling. Today's episode, we're going to do ice fishing on a spillway. That's right. I am crazy. We're going to ice fish a spillway. Look at that beautiful backdrop behind me. And the spillway we're going to fish is right in front of me. There's open water behind us right there, which we were jerkbait fishing. But then there's ice right there. But we're gonna try burbit down there and ice fish a spillway and that is crazy there's at least 14 inches of ice so i'm gonna shut the heck up get my stuff and get down there see you guys in a few Well guys, we're gonna attempt first ever ice fishing a spillway show. It looks good. Cause look, it's frozen right here even, I think. I don't know if I should step. Okay. Those are holes I think, brother. But we're gonna try to fish a spillway, guys. Ice fish one. And that's unheard of. Unless you're crazy. Oh yeah, I think we're walking on a spillway guys and that looks thick, but Greg, yeah. So guys, this is the spillway and I think that's thick looking, but Greg is going to quickly confirm. Dude, if that's it, then we might just get lucky here. I'm going to get my aqua view then, yeah? All right, here we go. I mean, that looks thick. I'm just going to step on there with you. That's as thick as the lake, man. We are at a spillway. Do not try this at home, children. That's thicker than anything. Yeah. I think we got 10 or 12 inches of ice. And we're gonna do it. Well, now that we know this is good, we should come here. We should come here tonight for sure. Well, that one. Nine we're about nine feet. Yeah, we got good, good, good amounts to work with. That's gonna be even deeper. Why don't you drill more and find it? And I'll go get the aqua view. Alrighty. Fish finder aqua view. All right, guys, we're dropping my aqua view down because we think there's a million fish of some sort down there. I wonder if we should drop the aqua view right there, too. Oh, that's a burbot. Was it? No, yeah. Really? Camera. Oh, my God. We've struck gold. Sweet. Look at them in the camera, guys. Oh, they keep going up to the camera and hitting it. They're probably attracted to it, huh? Uh, no, I'm gonna use Paul's hair jigs, but with sucker meat on them. All right, Greg, what are you doing to get into these, bud? Mitchell Max here. This is my Laker rod, which hopefully I get some big Lakers on later this year, but I have this glow-in-the-dark VMC. What do you think, is that quarter ounce, probably? Yeah. The white twister tail and a piece of sucker meat right there. Dude, I haven't gotten a single hook side yet. <laughs> Another burbot. Ooh, what is that? Another one. They keep getting bigger and bigger by an inch. You notice that? <laughs> Look at that. Damn, heck yeah, Slippery. bro. Heck yeah. Just dead sticking? Yeah. That was a little smaller, but yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun, ain't it? Huh? Maybe those bourbon to see the friends go to heaven. <laughs> they stopped. Yeah. Oh wow! All right. I was just not even paying attention. Small one, guys, but my first bourbon. That's, oh, that's not small. No, that's the biggest one yet. Wow! I'm about to touch it for my first time, dudes. <laughs> wow! You want a still shot of that? Yeah. No, Greg, hey, hit it, guys. They are snakes. I'm gonna keep this one. All right, guys. How about that, huh? What a beautiful fish. Kind of like a snake. What are the coolest patterns? What is that, about 19 inches? It's about a 19 inch burbot. Not the biggest, but super fun. All right. 
to get her back down there. I'm actually fishing blind. My fish finder doesn't even work down there, guys. But yeah, I got that one on the uh, quarter ounce white assassin glow in a dark. Specifically, really good for burbot, catfish, and lake trout. Especially if 90 foot depths. Uh, yeah. Patience with these fish. They're kind of like Lakers. They're indecisive about hitting things and then they'll do it out of nowhere, huh? Mm -hmm. I haven't actually, where I've lost them. Okay. I think it. Oh, guys, it's so frustrating Missed sometimes. Them? Yeah, I, I did. That sucker bead sticks on for like several fish. Are there. you mid column or are you all in the bottom? I'm on the bottom. Yeah. It's so hard to get them. Their mouths are small, I think. Got him? Yeah, land him, brother. Land him, brother. Woo all right, yes. Oh, you can back up. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, guys, they are freaking aggressive down there. Oh, just had a massive hit. Kind of had set the hook real good because they cusp it. And if you're not ready for it, you will lose one. Easily, easily lose them. Oh, he's got a fish on, guys, the whole time. Yeah, yeah, you had a fish on. Yeah, all right. Oh, he came out perfect. What a beauty. Small average, guys, but it's okay. We want to knock it off our list. There are bigger ones. I mean, and how many of you all can you say you have fished? Next to a gigantic wall and spillway, so. Mm -hmm. Yep, hands down, easily. Do you see anything other than burbot? Nope. I, I swear I saw a walleye tail. Oh, I believe you. I saw that white tip. Snaky creatures. Hey, Dustin, have you had any bites, buddy? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him? Got him. Oh. <laughs> By the way, it's three bourbon a person. Love it. It's not like I need a fish finder, guys, so I'm over here away from Greg because I can't see it anyway. Oh. This one? Yep. I assume if we were here in the dark, it would be lights out. They wouldn't even wonder. Huh. Is it? All right, another one for Greg. Smaller, but I think they'll get bigger. So cool. Guys, you can really see how thick the ice is when you step anywhere. Really, it's uh, about 16 or 18. <laughs> guys uh slow down for us greg didn't it oh yeah fish but, off the bucket list fish off the bucket list guys we're gonna have some lunch get in the river and get back to bourbon in a bit see you shortly all right guys we uh finally are coming back to finish off our bourbon uh, video because once low light went away and it got sunny they stopped eating and now it's dark we're gonna get out there hopefully we can get on some rubber fish in this episode guys so i'm gonna shut the hell up and get ready let's go down there Boom. it's insane you guys how spooky ice can be but we're in a good spot we're back where we were right on our stuff They're all over down there, aren't they? Yeah. It's all right, don't even worry about that thing.
Got him? All right, brother. Sorry about the low light, guys. We got another vermin. Show it up, show it up. They're not the biggest, man, but we're getting things crossed off the list. Yeah, they just wrap around like a snake. They do. <laughs> they do. Really? Yeah. And there he goes to get way bigger, way bigger. Right here, Greg. All right. Yeah. Super, super easy. Just wait until the nighttime and you'll catch a ton of them. Still using a going fishing jigs. Just glow in the dark is a super important presentation because they're blind as bats. So the brighter the better, the stinkier the better, just like catfish. Or a Paula, huh? Oh yeah, got something really nice. Got something really nice, guys. Thank you, some drag. Oh, okay, it's a decent bourbon. <laughs> well, decent bourbon for here, guys. Yeah, no, it's not bad, huh? No. Greg? You it's don't? not bad at all. Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. Beautiful. They love to wrap their hair. That's like a snake. Ooh. Look at this. It's like a snake at that moment. Anyways, let's let it go. <laughs> all right, I'm satisfied with that. Yeah. Let's catch about five more guys and call it a night. Yeah, Greg, I think five more. Missed it again. Several hits, I think they're turning off. Oh no, guys. Bass mastered him again. The sucker meat never falls off, I swear. Like you could use the same piece for a week. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you got some skin on there. That's right. Oh, I just had a bite. Son of a bitch. They all feel big, by the way. You're like, yeah. oh, I got a giant. Frustrating. Got him? Let's see. Oh, that's not a bad one, man. It's got some chubby. Oh, we almost just doubled oh. up. Oh, we almost doubled up. Oh, let's see that bad boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> slimy, guys. Slimy. You must hold on tight. I have so much bourbon slime on my pants. Wife's not gonna let me back home. That's right. You're gonna be in trouble, boy. We almost doubled up, guys. As he brought bringing that one in, I got smacked. Got it? Oh yeah, guys. Got some though. What is this? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you yeah, pull out the transducer? Right. Oh, guys, I got something decent. That's Help me land that. It's a big bourbon. Land it. Land it. It's four pound test, man. Oh, guys. Yeah, that's, that's better. That, that's a PB. <laughs> that's an embarrassing PB. Damn. Still with that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Bro, oh, that's chubby, too. Paul Sauer's going fishing creation jigs. Dude, if we caught every one of them like that today. <laughs> huh? What's that? If we caught every one of them like the one under me today. Yeah. Level again? Yeah. A little better. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Let's see. Did you make it not wiggle, though? That's the question. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Look at this guy. The really leash dies, huh? Better. That one. Yeah. Alright. Greg, what's another? You get getting bigger and bigger, huh? Good work, bud. Good work. Hang on. It's dead. Is it? Yeah, I'm taking that. While Greg works on his, I am gonna try to see if I can get another. Oh, all right, guys. Last one. 
small, I think. Wait, 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 I don't know. Let's land it. Let's land it. He's pulling too. Nice. That's all she wrote, dude. That's all she wrote. Ah, he had ricocheted. This has got a little chubster. I mean, small. But they're just slimy, and that's the best grip I could do. Beautiful. Look at how mean they look. Oh. All right, guys. That's it. Let's let him go, and I'll see you at the truck, y'all. There we go. Well, already, guys, we're done for the night. We caught a, probably about 20 bourbon. It was a bucket list item for me and Greg. And I ended up catching a PB there uh, towards the end, about a 20-inch, 2-pounder, I would say. It's getting really, really cold. It's about 30 mile an hour winds out here and probably low 20s. We couldn't take it anymore. Our hands were freezing, but what an awesome thing to fish a spillway, ice fish a spillway and knock one species off the list. So on that note, we're gonna call it a night. I can't even talk anymore. I'm so freaking cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this last Frosty Tour episode. Until next time, guys, we'll see you again.